good morning good afternoon good evening my viewers this is bck or jaco of wangele voice tv my update today is on how they wanted to humiliate his excellency P2B during the funeral ceremony of Herbert Wigwe. The MC or whoever he is, after, after recognizing all the dignitaries, including former governors, former bank MDs, businessmen, he refused to, to recognize P2B, pretending that he forgot. But for the ovation and the shouting of the people in the hall, P2B was eventually recognized. Apart from the fact that P2B contested the presidential election. P2B is eminently qualified to be recognized. Was an ex-governor for eight years, was a chairman of a bank. He has been there and out. But apart from that, why is the government scared of P2B? They are scared because they know that the hope of the common man, the hope of the second generations of Nigeria, they know that the, the hope of Nigerians are all in P2B. This is, this is a man that has changed the narrative of politics in Nigeria. P2B was rigged out, out of the election last year. They did everything to frustrate him. But he remains unshaken. He's still strong. They call him Peter the Rock. He goes about his businesses. He attends occasions, birthdays, funerals. Anywhere you have any state that has any problem, he will visit on his own, his capacity as P2B, he will go and commiserate with the freed victims of kidnappers. He has done it severally in the northern states of Nigeria. He doesn't care. So, what I'm saying now is when you have the backing of the people, when you have the people behind you, nothing will happen to you. They will never suppress P2B. No matter what you do, they will never suppress him. P2B is a presidential candidate of Nigeria and nobody, no matter the efforts, nobody can suppress him. We are waiting for 2027. In fact, by 2025, we will start again. I want to assure you that his popularity will double and that the votes he got in the last presidential election will double. Let us all pray that P2B or somebody like P2B from any part of the country who means well for Nigeria will emerge so that all of us will enjoy this country. Because Nigeria is in a mess. It's no longer a country. Somebody has to fix it. 
and I'm happy that everybody is be is becoming aware of the fact that P2B is eminently qualified to fix Nigeria. My viewers, I beg, make sure to subscribe to my channel, both in Facebook and YouTube, Wangele Voice TV. Mona, I the beg on my my Facebook friends also subscribe and God will bless all of you. Look when I watch the video. Excellent and you are all distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. But we would like to if you permit me recognizing our midst this special guests are uh, in our midst this evening in no particular order i'd like to recognize in our midst the group managing director and ceo of zenith bank plc dr benisa oyago is here with his wife let's put our hands together for him We also have in our midst tonight, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, in no particular order, His Excellency, the Governor of River State, His Excellency Simnalai Fubara. Let's put our hands together for him. We have here in our midst, and he's been here with us since we started. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sonwolu. Let's put our hands together. You're welcome, sir. We have his, in our midst, his close colleague in the southwest of Nigeria, the Executive Governor of Ogun State, His Excellency, Dakbo Abiodu. We have in our midst tonight the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Ezebuo Wike. We have in our midst tonight to grace this memorable event. The group chairman and CEO of the Dangote Group. Please welcome to this gathering, Alaji Dangote. You're welcome, sir. We also have in our midst tonight the Chairman Access Holdings, Honorable Abu Chimo. Is here in our midst tonight? Please let's welcome him. We also have in our midst the group MD Access, Bankole Roosevelt. Roosevelt Obona, pardon me, Roosevelt Obona, pardon me, the group MD of Access. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we also have in our midst this evening to grace this event the former state governor, Delta State, Chief James Ibori. At this point of the evening, I'd like to invite to take the vote of thanks to I'd like to invite to take the vote of thanks.
Amen. <laughs> Please, tonight, 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 we would like to specially, specially, specially welcome in our midst in this memorable event a presidential aspirant of the Labour Party, <laughs> Mr. Peter Obi, is here in our midst tonight. How could I have? <laughs> I could have done. 